Dan here from HowIStayFit.com. I'm quickly going to show you how to use the skin fold calipers to take a body fat estimate. Now it's not going to be entirely accurate, um, I accept that. To make it really accurate, I'm going to need a lab, which I don't have, and it's going to cost me a lot of money to access a lab. Um, really the benchmark would be using um, something like the, the Bog Pod or getting a DEXA scan. Um, and really it's just universities that have access to that. But um, for the purpose of what we're using it for, it doesn't have to be entirely accurate. I'm just trying to get a rough reading. I'm gonna take myself and I'm gonna do this uh, every week or possibly every two weeks. So um, if you're dieting down, this is a way to see if you're actually losing body fat, not muscle, or if you're looking to gain muscle, um, it's to make sure you're not gaining too much body fat at the same time. So I'm using the AccuMeasure 3000, sounds uh, very fancy, and I'm just going to take a single site reading. Um, I mean, another option you could do, I'll mention, is you could get someone to do this for you, in which case they can take seven different readings or nine readings, plug it into a calculator and it gives you a body fat estimate that way, but uh, I'm just doing it by myself. Like I said, for the purpose of this, um, it's accurate enough. So, I'm going to find my hip bone, which is here on the right side. I'm then going to go about one inch above, which is the suprailiac. I'm pinching that there using my left hand, and then using my right hand to hold the calipers. Until it clicks and it clicks, the little press slider went in. So that is, that's one millimeter. Okay, so I'm probably not the best subject to do this on because my body fat's quite low admittedly. Then we've got the chart that came with the calipers. Um, if your calipers didn't come with a chart for whatever reason, um, you can access this on the AccuMeasure website. So I'm gonna look to my chart if you, Follow through with me here. Let's have a look at the chart. Let's go body fat measurement for men. It's got different age ranges. I am ugh, I'm 31, so I'm in that category. And reading is well between two and three millimeters. So yeah, mine came up as one, but let's say it's that category. So that puts me at about 4.5% body fat right now. So for the purpose of this, um, that's accurate enough. So I know if I'm trying to gain muscle, for example, and I've been eating in a calorie surplus, I can take this again next week, the week after, and I can monitor how quickly that body fat's increasing if I'm trying to gain muscle. If I'm trying to lose body fat, what I would do is I'd simply do the reading, refer to the chart, and make sure that that body fat is going down every once or twice a week. Um, using body weight alone, it's useful, but I don't know if I'm losing fat, if I'm losing muscle, if I'm losing both. So ideally when losing, when dieting, you wanna be losing body fat. You don't wanna just be losing body weight. I mean, if I was uh, a flabby, overweight person, I wouldn't want to become a thinner, flabby person. I'd be what um, is termed as skinny fat. So um, doing it this way, checking body fat, it makes, sure, it makes sure that your body composition is doing what you want it to be doing. Cool. So thanks for watching. For more fitness tips, uh, check out my website, www.howistayfit.com.